with shawty cause she bought her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living, ayy. I know that she put in some time. You remind me of me. And she get flat like me. Yeah, she rock like me. And Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a tutorial on graphic t-shirts. Yes, I did a tutorial on how to make your own graphic t-shirts. So if you want to see how I created it, just keep on watching. So the first thing I did was Google the image that I want to put on the t-shirt the image that i decided to go for was a Nicki minaj and cardi b image just something i just found randomly um and i dragged it to my desktop the next step is i'm going to upload the image to cricut design space the reason why i'm doing it this way is because i want cricut to cut the image for me because if you guys know sometimes our hands aren't as always steady so you can't mess up and i want this to be perfect so i'm going to upload it to cricut design space and upload it as a print and cut image meaning that it will print the image from my hp printer and then it will cut it with the cricut explorer so once i have uploaded the image i'm not going to do any modifications to the image because i want it to be just like how it is I'm then going to press continue and select print, then cut image. I'm not going to set it as a cut image because I'm not using vinyl. Once I select the image, I'm going to insert it to my design space. And then I'm going to measure out to be as big as I can on design space. It only allows you to print a 9.25 by 6.95 i believe those are the measurements so as you guys can see i will scale it back down to that size so it can cut it for me i cannot wait until cricut has allowed us to cut bigger because this is kind of annoying but anyway i'm going to scale it down to 9.25 by 6 by 95 which is the highest and biggest i can cut it with my cricut explorer Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you're a good guy, make me believe it Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it See how Rewind, when we rewind So now that I have my image sized Accordingly, I am then going to go to my templates that's located in Design Space just to see how it's going to look on my t-shirt. And by the looks of it, I think it's going to be okay. And I cannot wait to show you guys the end result. Just keep on watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what else you want to see. So the next step is I'm going to then print my image. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you a good guy, make me So right here I do have the image that I am printing off on, on my HP printer um, I do not have a fancy printer, however, I do have a HP printer. Um, so I'm not going to mirror this image because I am printing out on a dark transfer paper. However, if you are using a light colored transfer paper, you will have to mirror it. And I will show you guys in the next clip on the difference. This is the transfer paper that I'm going to use to print out this t-shirt. Um, I do usually use like a Avery brand that you can get from Walmart. Um, however, I wanted to try this out by this company called Craft and Besties. If you guys don't know about Craft and Besties, I will share it in another video. Um, but yes, they do offer their own transfer paper. And I will let you guys know that no matter the type of color t-shirt that I am using, I always, always print on dark transfer paper because it gives a good color payoff um the white is okay but i just personally prefer the dark transfer paper because it doesn't leave a white outline either um it gives it like a clean nice um output when you are creating your own graphic t-shirt
here is my printer of choice i'm sorry guys that is so dusty but um yes you guys get it it is a hp desk jet 26.55 i believe i paid about 30 dollars for this printer from amazon i don't think they carry this anymore but any printer probably will serve you well um but this is just a printer that i have been using for the last three and a half years if you're using direct transfer paper you want to make sure that you feed the paper from the top if you have this type of um, printer um, and this is the side that it's going to print on and this is the back of the paper. If you don't have a Cricut Explorer, you can use regular scissors to cut the image off. I prefer to use a Cricut Explorer because it gives it a cleaner cut. So I'm going to load this image onto my mat just as I see it on the computer, which is this way. So as you can see, it looks like that on my mat. So I'm not going to load this into my Explorer. I'm going to set my dial to custom because I want to make sure that it cuts for the paper setting. Although I can select paper here, but I prefer to use the custom setting for the paper. Here I am choosing the paper setting. I don't know what's going on with my mouse. If you guys hear that little noise, that's my heat press. I don't know why it does that, but it does it. <laughs> So I'm going to choose copy paper. So I chose copy paper and now my machine is ready to cut the image out. As you can see, it's ready. It is blinking. So I'm going to then press this button. It's scanning. And you want to make sure that you are in a well lit area. A well lit area so that your Cricut machine can use the little guidelines to censor on where to cut. Because if you're in a dark lit area, it's not gonna be able to read the sensor lines on the paper. Although you can't see the sensor lines, you wanna make sure that the machine sees the sensor lines. So now it is about to cut. cut it out so i'm now then going to fold this back so my paper doesn't rip while i am peeling this back so you want to just fold it just a little bit to get the paper off of the mat see as you can see it's coming off fairly smooth without it ripping For the dark transfer paper i should say is that you're able to just peel the image back without <clears throat> getting a residue on the t-shirt because when i worked with the white transfer paper it left a, like an outline and i didn't like it so that's how i came to love and found out about the dark transfer paper whether i am using white or dark paper white or dark t-shirts so i'm going to try to just Pull this from the paper. So I'm pulling this from the paper, and as you can see, this is the back, and this is how it should look. I'm gonna now press this onto my t-shirt. I am using a Hanes Brands t-shirt, as you can see, size medium. Um, I prefer to use Hanes Gilding or Next Level when I am creating shirts. So I'm gonna throw that on my heat press and I'm gonna preheat my shirt. I always like to preheat my shirt just to get the wrinkles out of it. So I'm not gonna clamp it all the way down. I'm just gonna just hold it down on the t-shirt for just a few seconds to get the wrinkles out of it. This image about three to four inches down from the collar to give it a good a good center. 
And usually how I like to make sure that it is measured accordingly is I like to get my pointer finger and count one, two, three, four inches away from the collar. And I try to make sure that the image is centered. You want to be careful with your image because it can rip. Um, so just make sure you just move it slightly. I do have a t-shirt center tool that I got from Etsy. I will leave the shop where I purchased it from in the description. This is the center tool. And this is also the website right here. I sometimes use this to make sure that this, the image or the vinyl is centered. I think this looks good. So I am satisfied with how it is. So now I'm going to just press it onto the t-shirt. So just like that, the t-shirt is done. Like, look at that. Look at the quality of it. Isn't it cute? I, I absolutely love how this turned out. You can also use transfer paper to create your own graphic t-shirts. I absolutely love how this turned out, guys. What do you think? Like, this is just so amazing. You can use dark transfer paper to print practically any image. I've used the transfer paper to print images, and I use my vinyl to use if I wanted to add words. You know what I mean? So, that's how I, like, if I wanted to add words, I would just use my black vinyl of choice and print whatever desired words I wanted on a t-shirt. And this is how it looks. This is how it came out. Now you created your own graphic t-shirt at home. And again, you don't have to have your Cricut, but I would recommend having a Cricut to get these precise cuts because as you can see, this is such a clean cut. Because if we would have did with the scissors, it would have been jagged. <laughs> I hope this video was very helpful and you learned a lot with this video. I know it was pretty simple, but hey, look at this t-shirt. You created your own graphic t-shirt at home with just a printer and if you choose a Cricut Explorer 2. Again, I only use the Cricut Explorer 2 to get these precise cuts because if I was to use scissors, sometimes my head, hand isn't so steady. It would probably came out this perfect, but isn't this cute? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what else you want to see from Lux Creations. I hope I taught you something and you created your own graphic t-shirt. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye.